Go to your web browser and just type in blender.org. There's also a link in the description of the video. You can just click on that. So once you're here, you're gonna wanna click download and then go to LTS and then click Blender 4.2 LTS. Now just click this download button right here and select whichever one of these will work for you. Now it should automatically download for you. And this will likely take quite a while. Um, it tells you about how long right there. So just wait till that's done. Okay, so once the installer has finished downloading, just click on it to open it up. Now it will say that it protected your PC. Just run it anyways, it's fine. It's not a virus or anything. Now just go through the instructions, do whatever it says, and then click install, and then click finish. Now once Blender has been installed, just click on the search bar right here and type in Blender 4.2, just open it up. Okay, so now that you have Blender installed, just scroll down to the description again, and you should see a link to the model. Just go to the Google Drive and download the .blend file. Once you've done that, just click on File in Blender and click Open. Now just navigate to wherever you downloaded the file, click on it, press Open. All right, so once you've opened up the file, you should see something like this. If you don't want these annoying lights to be in the way, you can just click this eye icon to hide them in the viewport. You can also just delete the hierarchy if you don't want to use these lights and instead add your own. All right, so up here we have the color changer. You can move it to select the color. If you set it to custom and then click on one of the objects that has the base material right here, just set the custom color, whatever you want, just like that. This right here switches between IK and FK. This control changes the scale of the eyes, move it upwards to make them larger, downwards to make it smaller. By default, it's on IK, so you've got the inverse kinematics right here. You can move it with the pull target, rotate the hand, or you can switch it to FK, where you rotate the individual segments of the arms like this. Before you switch back to IK though, make sure to clear the rotation of the arm bones, because if you don't, it'll end up looking really funky and weird. If you want to move the hand offset from the actual IK controller, just select this box and move it around. If you select this finger control up here and move it up or down using G, you can close the fingers. You can select multiple at a time to make a fist, and you can animate those to make the hand opening and closing. Same goes for the other hand. This right here is the squish control. It lets the body move around like this. You can also move the upper torso. These are for opening the zipper pouch. You can open them both, see the stuffing inside. This controls the zipper. This arrow is the mouth control, open and close. You've got the tongue right here. By default, the mouth rotation is limited to the X axis because it makes it easier to animate. You can just do a trackball rotate, open and close it by just moving your mouse up and down. But if say you wanted to move this in another direction, all you do is just go down to the bone constraints tab and disable this constraint right here and you can rotate it in any direction. To set an eye color, just use these sliders. Once you've selected a color, I'd recommend just selecting these and hiding them with H so you don't accidentally reset the color when you're animating. This is the eye controls. You can select these outer rings to move the iris and you can move the inner rings to move the pupils. You can also scale them to make them larger or smaller. You can do the same for the outer part. And you can also scale them on one axis to change the shape of the eyes. The new model also comes with some simple facial controls. You can move the mouth, make it smile or frown, just like that. You can also move the eyes, make it angry or sad. You can make some interesting expressions with that. If you scale this, it will flatten the eyes down just like that. This slider toggles the outline. You can turn that on or off. And you can also change the color from the preset ones, the seeker outline, the tag outline, the creative mode outline, or you can set a custom one. To actually change the color of that though, just select the outline and change the custom color right here to whatever you want. And that is about it for the main Yeep rig. If you want to have two Yeeps in the same file, select all the objects that are a part of the mesh Press Shift D, duplicate it, move it over, and you'll see that it works just fine. 
The only thing is the custom color slider no longer works. What you can do then is just go to base one, select base one, and then just apply it to all the other objects. Base one, base one, base one. Now, this model also comes with cosmetics. You see this in this collection right here, we've got the official cosmetics. Keep in mind, I only have the torso and head cosmetics not the zippers or sleeves. So if I enable these collections right here, you'll see there are a ton. So if you want to actually find one you're looking for to make your outfit, there's a lot of these here. So you could just look through, see if you can find it. What I'd recommend doing is, and then click on this search bar right here at the top, and then just type in the name. So say, and then you should be able to locate whichever one you're looking for. Duplicate it. Press move to the rigs collection. Now, once you hide this again, you'll see that it stays and it follows the head. So if you move it around, it'll stay with it. Some of these don't work quite right because they required some white painting. So the majority of them are just parented to this head bone. So if you want to go in and fix that yourself with some white painting, you can. I just don't want to do that for all the cosmetics. So if you want to import a cosmetic that I don't have, just select the file and drag it into your Blender window. Then just click import and you should see it show up right there. So to get the texture working properly, just change the material to official cosmetics and it should be correct like that. Then what you need to do is just rotate it and scale it until it lines up with the heat model. Once you've positioned it, just select both the rig and the armature. Go into pose mode and select the mouth bone right here then just press Control p select bone and then press keep transform right there the same thing goes for the torso cosmetics just drag it in press import scale it up and rotate it until it lines up and then just apply the official cosmetics material then just select the object and the armature go into pose mode and select this body bone right here. Just press Control P, select bone, make sure Keep Transform is on, and then it will follow the body just like that. Okay, so the main way you're gonna wanna make arm cosmetics is by selecting the arm mesh, pressing Shift and D to duplicate it, right click to cancel the location, scale it in edit mode on the X and Z axes, move it inward on the X a little bit, and then adding a custom material, so just add a new material and then just changing a color like that and they should properly follow the arms around and you should be good to go okay so for the plush we've got hand controls rotation offset got the zipper here you can rotate and move the mouth same thing goes for this mouth as the other one. If you want to rotate it more freely, you can disable the limit rotation constraint and you can move it all around. Dislocate his jaw. You can set the custom colors with this. This slider right here is the copy movement toggle. Just move this slider upwards. Now, if you go in object mode, select the other rig, what you'll see is if you move the hand, the eat plush will follow. It also does the rotation of the hand and the elbow positioning. Now, if you move these two finger bones, it'll close the Yeep's hand like that. Now, this file also comes with some other objects here. You got the pillows, reinforced pillow, some gadgets, 
in some of these blocks. Now for the pillow blocks, I made three separate materials of some of the in-game colors for the suburbs biome. So if you want to make a build out of these models, I'd recommend just selecting the one you want to use, pressing Shift D to duplicate it, and making a copy. Now once you've made this copy, I'd recommend holding down Control, and it will snap to a grid. This makes it a lot easier to align blocks. So for example, if you didn't hold Control, it might be a little bit more difficult to align them properly. In the Materials tab, if you just search Pillow, you'll see three different materials that I've made. Just click on this button right here, that's right next to the name. Let's change the base color to whatever you want it to be, just like that. Now if you want a different block to be that color, all you gotta do is just click through here, search for hello, and then just click on your material. Okay, so once you have a ton of objects like this in your scene, Blender might start to get a little bit slow. So you could always turn on simplify like that and it'll run much smoother because none of these objects are being subdivided. If you have a bunch of these and you don't necessarily like the bevel on them, you can adjust it by just changing the amount in the bevel modifier. If you have multiple, just select all of them hold alt and then adjust the value and it will apply it to all of them at the same time. If you want to make the Yeep hold an object, just go into pose mode on the Yeep armature, select the hand bone, that's the square right here, and now go back to object mode. Select whatever gadget you want to use, just press shift D to duplicate it, move it over, and then just position it in the hand however you want it to be placed. Once you've done this, make sure the object is selected, then hold shift and click on the armature, and now press Control p and set parent to bone. That will just set the object's parent to be whatever bone you have selected. For us, that was the left hand bone right there. Now you'll see that if you move the hand control, the item will follow it. Okay, so in order to save the image, make sure you have your camera positioned just like this so that it is looking at the scene. You can reposition it easily by holding shift and pressing F. If you go over to the compositing tab and then just select a custom color right here, that will change the color of the background. If you wanted to have a transparent background, just delete this node right here and reconnect the image value. Now just click render, then render image. And once it finishes rendering, just save it to your computer.